I wanted to talk a little bit about the philosophy of retail politics. And what does that mean exactly? Well, retail politics is where you meet with people one-on-one, either walking door-to-door in small groups, and you make the sale based on your personal connection to them. Some candidates are exceptionally good at that. Bill Clinton was very good at that. Um, George Bush was uh, pretty good at that. Other candidates need to be in the media. You know, the way they connect is through television. Mm. Uh, Ronald Reagan comes to mind as being somebody who uh, was transcendent. You could watch him on the screen and, and, and connect with him. But retail politics, and, and in Iowa, because of the caucus system, people and New Hampshire, people are used to seeing candidates in somebody's living room and having a chance to be up close and personal and talk to them. And that's been, for example, Ron DeSantis's big problem is that he is awful at retail politics and just can't really connect very well. Nikki Haley does it uh, uh, much better. Uh, and, and some candidates do and some candidates just can't. Chris Christie would be a good retail politician, right? Yes, he's very affable uh, in person and easy to talk to. Yeah. Anything else we need to discuss before we take our Christmas holiday break? Well, when we come back, Congress will or will not have supported Ukraine and Israel. Will or would not have uh, made an investment in border security. Uh, Will or would not have uh, set the stage for a budget continuation. And uh, there may be, I don't know, uh, McHenry's uh, not going to run, but he's going to stay in Congress. The Republican majority will be down to three. Uh, Bob Menendez will still be in, in, uh, in the Senate. And what I think was funny was that George Santos, the day after he left the House, went on this cameo thing where, you know, for 200 bucks or 300 bucks, uh, he, will, he will record a message for somebody on your behalf. <laughs> so Senator John Fetterman had him uh, record a message to Bob Menendez, basically, you know, mocking him and encouraging him to follow suit and retire. <laughs> And, and again, part of the entertainment aspect of politics today. And it, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, if Santos can stay out of jail, this guy has got a career in some form of media. Am I right? Well, he's got media or just like the guy who, who did, who was the subject of the Catch Me If You Can, the Pan Am pilot who was not gotcha. a pilot we, and he yeah. made a movie. Right. Uh, and then he went on, that guy went on the lecture circuit and he made thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, speaking at corporate conferences. Santos can do the same thing. Yeah. If he can stay out of jail and that, yeah, that's, that's a big questionable if. at this point. All right. Well, Keith, thank you again. We want to wish everybody a happy holiday, Merry Christmas, whatever it is that you're celebrating. And we will be back next year, if not sooner. And uh, subscribe to the podcast and uh, have a happy holiday, uh, Keith. And you too, Mike. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, everybody.